So what you did? So it's you cloudy. Oh, the, uh, it's in my drawer. You talking about the, for the face thing? So it's you Monte. I said Monte. <laughs> <laughs> Another day. What's up YouTube, it's the Lavish Barber. We're back at it again with this haircut tutorial. Today we're gonna do a shadow fade with the chin strap facial hair. And this is my climb before, how it's looking. And we're gonna get down to the uh, to the haircut, step-by-step -step techniques. And uh, y'all practicing and make it happen and just learn from it, you know. Leave some good feedback, hit that thumbs up video, subscribe to this channel. So we're gonna get to this haircut tutorial right now. So right here, I got my comb and my brush, just preparing the haircut, making sure it's gonna be smooth to cut. You know, by brushing it and combing it at the same time, it's always good to prepare your haircut before you start it, you know? So now I got my wall five-star senior cordless. I got my uh, lever fully closed, you know? So basically, you know, it's has some here because it ain't bald. So basically just making that first guy line, it's gonna be a mid shadow fade. So doing that first guy line, just going up, Hold the air down if it's gonna be in the way. You know, don't be afraid to uh, move something on your client that will be in the way. So we're just making this first guideline. Better go around the head. So now I got my half guard and I'm going up about half an inch. Just making that second guy line. I'm gonna do this around the whole hair also. Make sure to brush too, have your uh, brush or your comb. So I'm just doing the same thing around the whole head with the half guard, just about a half an inch for the second guy line. So now I got my lever all the way open with no guard on, and I'm about to get that second uh, line out, just fading back and forth after uh, the half guard going up about a half an inch. So just got that guard off, going up, fading back and forth, messing with my lever. Make sure to brush also, and that's very important. So just practice these techniques, and you can see I'm going down a little bit with my lever, a half into uh, close. And you can see that line is fading out slowly but surely.
now I got my number one guard going up about a half an inch again. Every time I go up on the, uh, the next guy line, it's always about a half an inch. So just doing that. You can see that's the third guy line I'm gonna take out. Make sure I got my brush brushing in. I got my zero guard fading out the line that I just put in. I think my lever is closed right now, so I'm just fading up, getting that line out, brushing, going back and forth with the lever on with the half guard to just get that uh, bling going. You can see it's coming in already. So just get that last line out above it. So for you upcoming barbers and your barbers that's learning, just stay consistent and learn these techniques and steps and you're only going to get better and it's going to come in time you know you just got to be patient and just keep working every day to become better and uh, feeding yourself some wisdom it's going to happen so i got no guard on i'm just going um, back onto the fade and just tightening it up whatever i see dark spots and um you know make sure the contrast and the blend is good before i move on to my next uh, guideline so that's what I'm doing just go back and forth with the lever just making sure that blends tight so now I got my one and a half guard by wall and I'm going up for this last guideline and I'm using my um, brush as you can see lifting up the hair that will be in the way so that's a good technique to hold down too if you got a comb or a brush and the hair is overlaying it you can always use um, clips too but you know since I'm experienced I just use this as to hold it up but it's really how you want to go about it either way it'll work so just going up you know getting that last guy line out so as you can see I switched back to my cone for some reason and I got my one guard on now just getting this last guy line out fading it out slowly but surely to process y'all but y'all see how the process is going i fade up some people fade down but my parents process is up it depends too but i majority fade up and uh, sometimes i'll fade down but that's once in a while i challenge myself because i'm so used to doing up so but Now I got my zero guard on, which is my half guard, and just uh, fading it out after my one. So the same process, you know, if you see some that's darkened that you want to uh, make blend or blurry out, I just use the uh, guard below what I just used. I just fade it out. Like, you know, cutting hair is just an art. It takes time. And, you know, being experienced always comes in clutch. Now I got my uh, no guard on and fading that line into the beard. Now I got the one guard, taking that bulk down, making sure I'm brushing the hair uh, with the grain that it's going with. So I'm gonna just speed it up for y'all. This is the same process that I did on the other side, so it's nothing different that I did. So it's the same exact process, you know, so don't think that I skipped anything. But you know, just uh, practice it and the uh, technique that I did on the other side I'm doing the same on this side so let's just speed through this and um, you know that way the video won't be super long So I always do the back part when it comes to a fading, like a whole fade, not a taper, a whole fade. I always keep the back side last to do, because I do each side first, if that makes sense. I go from left to right or right to left. So I go each side first, 
then I saved it back for last. And you can see how much uh, I got to fade, and it's real easy. Just fade that part out, that portion. And it's just the same process, also, you know, by the, each side that I did. And you can see how the fade came out so far, and um, just the process of how I did it. So, you know, lift my uh, hair up. When lifting his hair up with the comb, get that out the way if I need a fade right there. got no guard on playing with my lever back and forth fading that uh, darkness out so everything can line up get that beard going a little chin strap at the same time I see little spots so I just go back and forth if I see it you know sometimes you forget to go back to it but you know always overlook your work and never go wrong with that got my zero guard on Now I got my one guard on, about to take this bulk down in the uh, chin strap, you can see how much a difference that made. Just going up and brushing it down with the grain. Now I got no, no I got a half guard on now, and just going for the next step, take that line out. Now we're working on the lineup. You see I separated from the long hair with my cone, and I'm holding my cone uh, with the long hair separate it when I cut it down with the grain with my one guard on this is basically uh, makes the hairline pop and stand out more you know it's very important in the haircut especially our generation we care about that so now I'm that. just combing it down with my comb the hair and about to line it up I start from the side use my Andy's GTX just working it lightly letting the clippers work for me you don't ever want to push too hard I say this all the time because it's very important. You don't ever want to push too hard because you can um, scar your client by if cutting them. You know, if you cut them, then it's gonna leave a scar or a scab. So be gentle with it. Just tap it. Let the liners work for you. Then you could go back with the razor and um, sharpen it all up. That's what the razor is there for. So now we work in the front, starting in the middle, and go to side to side, whatever it is. You know, that's how I do it. Um, I'm using my hand, my fingers as a kickstand to steady it, the liners, you know. That's a very important technique to do too. So try to use your uh, your finger as a kickstand to just make your uh, clippers very steady. You can see how I'm doing it right there. I got my retro T cut by wall and just line up the um, chin strap. You know, be gentle with it. Same thing. You see the difference how much it made. It's a good technique to hold your uh, clipper like this. I like to use it when it comes to sideburns like that, also. But that's what I'm comfortable with. You know, try it out, see if it works for you. And that's what I'm here for, just to give y'all different techniques and game. You know, you can never stop learning. Gain that wisdom, become a great barber. Gain a lot of clients, charge more on your cuts. You're gonna be good in the long run. So I'm just getting that facial hair off the cheek. Now I'm getting my Andy's uh, shaver. Get it really bald. You can use a razor too, but you know, either or, it works good. Gets the job done. Gotta get your boy fresh. So now I got that water and I just sprayed it on the hair each side. 
the middle and I'm just using this twist sponge technique basically um, just the hair texture that twist look nappy look my client don't want nothing to cut off the top you know, that's just what he wants so you gotta give him it you know don't put no uh don't mind putting some pressure into it as you're doing the twist sponge to make the results more better so you can't be light handed is what I'm saying be heavy handed when you're doing the uh, twist sponge especially if the hair is real thick my client's hair is thick so I was working it back to the lineup I got my hair fibers enhancing the lineup and I got my holding spray with the face mask to guard my uh, client's face now I'm using a straight razor the, der um, the razors that I use is Derby's premium I've been using them for years I like them to get the job done very sharp and I'm stretching the skin make sure you always stretch the skin it's always important to do that and, um, you can't you know straight razor if you don't stretch the skin that's facts get that sharpness going that's mandatory always offer a straight razor you know actually client because some people the uh, skin react to it in different ways than others you know they can get irritated and get hair bumps but this is a technique you know so use uh, your finger to stretch the skin and you know use your razor blade at a diagonal just letting it work for you and this is the finished product you can see how far we came and much of a difference you know a shadow fade with the uh, sideburns chin strap whatever you want to call it but you know it's basically a shadow fade with the chin strap facial hair and a twist sponge look on top look how fresh that looks compared to how we first started so i appreciate y'all watching this video this is before shot how it looked and this is now how it looks see how much difference there is Follow me on Instagram at the Lavish Barber. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Roll to 10K subscribers. Stay believing in yourself. Stay consistent. You're only going to get better. And stay watching these videos and practice these techniques. Thank you.